Hello and welcome to GBTA Europe here in Brussels. So many colleagues coming together and excited for the next two days of talks and discussions. I'm most looking forward to the big idea session. So this is all about the law of attraction, making sure we're attracting new talent into the travel industry with the biggest ideas we can come up with. So I can't wait for the next couple of days. We're fortunate that we're in a growth industry at the moment, right? Travel is returning very, very rapidly. Uh, some might say maybe a little bit too rapidly and we're all kind of catching up. Uh, so, so making sure that the, the, the industry stays an attractive industry for people to want to come and work in uh, and retain the employees that are already there is super important. And bringing the big idea is all about bringing all of the constituents together and thinking about how can we solve this problem together as an industry. I, I thought it was fascinating that uh, the, the, the two big topics were travel well-being and industry image. For corporations, travel well-being really is top of mind at the moment. How do I ensure that my corporate travelers are feeling comfortable, that's frictionless travel, that we give them the technology they need, etc., etc., uh, to make that trip easy and so they can be as productive as they can. And then the industry image, if you look at you know, the, the problem I outlined earlier on, we're all trying to bring in more people into this industry. How do we keep that industry uh, attractive? was the other big topic. We're going to take all of that input, uh, bring that together with BCD, uh, we'll create a research paper and then uh, that will be jointly published with GBTA uh, and will be showcased at future events. Sustainability and diversity, equity and inclusion are intrinsically linked. They are separate in terms of the focus areas, but they all sit underneath ESG, so environmental, social and governance. And the more that we can start seeing them in that context, the more power we can have to help drive change in both areas. We don't have to wait for perfection to enable us to make progress. So what we would encourage any travel manager to do is really look at the programme, identify where DE&I sits within the overall business and the travel programme, and then look at what those intrinsic links are to sustainability and the environment and how we can bring sustainability, environment, social governance all together. They are evolving duty of care considerations right now. We have people working all across the planet. We have people working from home, people working from anywhere, uh, people traveling by their own, um, digital nomads. Protecting people and keeping them productive is a key element from operational resilience. And operational resilience is a key business objective. We are no longer trying to protect a trip, we are trying to protect the person, we are trying to protect all the people. And that is why it's no longer travel risk management, now it is people risk management. So what is next with uh, TripSource? TripSource is becoming the uh, gateway to optimize the experience and the workspace for the travelers. So the main objective is to encourage the usage of TripSource so that travelers stay informed and safe at any time before, during and after the trip. So in terms of new features, well, we are expecting TripSource to be used as a digital wallet. We are making a huge focus on traveler identity so that travelers, again, will get much more tailor-made options and offered. We are planning to release some individual scorecards so that travelers can monitor KPIs in relation to sustainability and to their well-being. And of course, we are improving the OBT capabilities by integrating multi-source content as well. So here we are at the end of GBTA Europe 2022 here in Brussels. And it's been amazing to summarize some of the highlights. It's just been good to see some of our prospects and clients face to face. And one of the main highlights of this entire conference was our big idea innovation session where 300 delegates came together and thought of some really cool ideas to attract talent into our industry. We've definitely had a lot of fun and thankfully, we've been able to come together here in sunny Brussels.